be deported. Long should be drained. I think you're wrong. There's Dr. Hammond's patience. There's his call. He's crashing. All of you. Fail them. The board wants you to step down. This is a crazy good night of music. American Song Contest. Live Monday on NBC. The Thing About Pam, all new, Tuesday at 10, 9 central on NBC. From the mountains to the coast, it's the stay with the most. Somos la crema de la crema, con mucho sol todo el año, cuidado que te quemas. Stack that cheddar, make it melt, cook it up, stretch it out. Still not downloading. Are we ever gonna play? Yeah, do you get your internet through a fax? Nope, AT&T internet. Is this what it does? Oh, because then I hate it. Me too, but it's all I can get in my place with AT&T. Guys, focus. You know your assignments, right? Nope. You're bringing up the rear, and you're on the roof. I told you I don't like the roof. I want to do the rear. I do the rear. Let's switch. I'm Fred Heights. You guys, it doesn't matter. This thing is taking forever. You better be in that roof. Slow download speeds are evil. You know what? I think it's going backwards. Spectrum download speeds are 20 times faster than AT&T's. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news from the L.A. Lakers. Rumors are swirling that tomorrow the team will officially fire head coach Frank Vogel. Yeah, this after a season full of more than a few losses. The team went 33-49. and 49. Mario Solis joins us now with the very latest. Mario. Hey, let's be honest. This is not a surprise. Everyone was expecting Frank Vogel to be shown the door when the season ended, but nobody expected it to be this quickly. Literally a minute after tonight's game ended, ESPN reported that Vogel will be fired. It's already been decided, and he'll be informed tomorrow. Tomorrow, the Lakers coach was asked about it after the game, but it was news to him. Uh, I haven't been told, <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy tonight's game, celebrate what these young guys did in terms of uh, scratching, scratching the claw and getting, getting back in this game, getting a W, and uh, you know we'll deal with tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wow, just being honest, he took another question, then was free to leave. The timing is a bit harsh, but given the extremely disappointing season, everybody knew this was coming. Expectations were high for the Lakers. Sure, injuries took their toll, but they never found their rhythm. They finished the season in 11th place out of the playoffs, and for now, it falls on Vogel. Reports are the Lakers will begin an extensive search for their new head coach right away. Names have been floating around the rumor mill for weeks. Coming up in sports, a couple of Laker players reacting to to the news that Frank Vogel is officially out. Mario, thank you. For the first time only on NBC4, we are hearing from the family of a man hit and left to die on a Santa Ana street. The 35-year-old father died early Saturday morning, and tonight loved ones are grieving their sudden loss, and they're pleading for someone, anyone, to help them track down the driver responsible. NBC4's Darsha Phillips has their message. I love my brother and I'm going to miss him. Family of Refugio Barrientos lighting candles at this small memorial where the 35-year-old was killed. Barrientos' truck was hit by the driver of this Dodge Charger around 2 o'clock Saturday morning at the intersection of 14th and Main in Santa Ana. The driver of the Dodge Charger and his passenger fled the scene, leaving in a red SUV. If somebody see the guys or somebody knows something, please call the police because, you know, I want justice for my brother. Barrientos' family pleading for information on those responsible. The 35-year-old was a father and also helped take care of his elderly mother. Many people know how my, my little brother because he's a very good person, good worker, good father, good brother, good son, you know. So I love my brother. 
I love my brother, and I'm going to miss him. He's a, he has a daughter, little daughter. Now the little daughter has no father. Family of Barrientos say drivers race on Main Street too often. Police say they can't confirm if the driver of the Charger was racing when he crashed and are asking witnesses to come forward. Darsha Phillips.